Quoted from Defense Blog site, the $1.2 billion contract was received by U.S. aerospace giant Boeing Company in July 2020 to begin buying eight F-15EX fighter jets. The contract awarded to Boeing provides for the design, development, integration, manufacturing, test, verification, certification, delivery, sustainment, and modification of F-15EX aircraft, including spares, support equipment, training materials, technical data, and technical support. Interestingly, F-15EX will replace the oldest United States Air Force's F-15C-Ds in the services inventory. Eight F-15EX aircraft were approved in the fiscal year 2020 budget and 12 were requested in the FY21 budget. The Air Force plans to purchase a total of 76 F-15EX aircraft over the five-year future year's defense program. General Mike Holmes, commander of the Air Combat Command said that, F-15EX is the most affordable and immediate way to refresh capacity and renew the capabilities provided by our old F-15C, D fleet. He added, the F-15EX is ready to fight as soon as it goes out of line. Work will be performed in St. Louis, Missouri, and at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, and is expected to be completed December 31, 2023, according to a press release issued Monday by U.S. Department of Defense. The F-15EX is a two-seat fighter with U.S.-only capabilities. It features a deep magazine that can carry a load of advanced weapons. The platform also requires minimal transitional training or additional manpower and little to no infrastructure changes, ensuring the continuation of the mission. The most significant difference between the F-15EX and legacy F-15s lies in its open mission systems OMS architecture. The OMS architecture will enable the rapid insertion of the latest aircraft technologies. The F-15EX will also have fly-by-wire flight controls, a new electronic warfare system, advanced cockpit systems, and the latest mission systems and software capabilities available for legacy F-15s.